Hi, welcome to Drone Attack Fun. Today I'm going to show you some of the new features in Free Flight Pro 5, it's version 502. Uh, so, I'll show you the settings. So, if you go to Settings Interface, um, there is a new option here for Hand Launch, um, which is a new feature in the 431 update. Piloting, you'll see there's a video and a sport mode. So, video mode is pretty much the same as it was previously. So you can change your vertical speed, your max tilt, max tilt speed. Sport mode is where the big changes are. So if you up everything here to max, um, the drone is now capable of about 65 miles, well, kilometers an hour. Um, so I normally set the rotation speed a bit lower because it's a bit sensitive about that. Um, safety, nothing changed. Uh, video, nothing changed either. So I just leave everything up at full and network exactly the same so launch your drone generally I put it up to the height that I want to to be at for these magic dronies that I'm going to show you now in a few minutes a few seconds So if you click the map icon, bottom left there, it will bring you into the point of interest screen of the map screen. So if you press and hold on a location on that map, it will create a point of interest. So if you drag that point of interest around, you'll see the drone will move to face the same position. So go back to the camera. So. There's a slider on the right hand side that will move the camera up and down and you'll see that the numbers inside the little box on the point of interest will change as well. So I'm just setting the point of interest here just essentially up at my car. Click the icon on the top right there that I'm point screen. That'll bring up the magic dronies menu. So you'll have Orbit, Boomerang, Parabola and Tornado. So if you click on boomerang, you have a choice of 30 or 60 meters. So I chose 30 here. So you see what it'll do. It'll bring the camera up 30 meters away from you. And then when it gets up to the, the height that you've set, it'll drop it back down into the same position. on orbit, you can choose left or right, essentially it'll keep the point of interest in the centre of the camera. So then we have tornado, so again choice of 10 or 30 metres, so you click on 10 here, what it'll do is it'll go around like orbit but this time it'll raise up by the amount you've set, so it'll raise up by 10 or 30 meters. I'll just speed it up there, just don't need to sit through it all. And then we have Parabola, which will just arc over your current position. So again, you set it two settings. So it'll arc over, it'll keep the focus of the camera on the point of interest and then lower it back down the other side. I'll just show you that again this time for 30 meters. And we'll speed it up. So we do boomerang again this time. 60 meters. No need to sit through it all, so we'll speed it up a little bit there. Now also the sport mode is the new one here as well. So if you click on click on the top right arrow to remove the icons from the screen, click the V down the bottom left, change it to S. 
So we're still on point of interest here, but you can see now the drone's moving a lot faster. And also, as I move around, it's keeping the point of interest in view as much as it can all the time. So it'll keep that there until you actually click on stop POI in the middle of the screen at the bottom there. So now the drone will back to be full control as normal, so camera will move with the drone. Now I'm going to show you some of the camera features. So if you click on the little guy there in the box that I'm just pointing at there, that'll choose um, cameraman mode. So if you just double click on what you want to choose, so double click on me there, um, it puts a frame around me and the camera should follow me. But uh, I had the camera at the slightly wrong angle, so bring it down a bit. So now when I move, the camera should follow me. The drone won't move, the drone will stay where it is. So it's different to follow me mode. It's just the camera tracking. So the camera will just follow you around. You can manually move the drone if you want and it'll keep you in, in the shot. Um, so then if you click on the top right beside the record button, you'll get up the shots. So the first one is epic. So you have 30 or 60 meters, I chose 30. So what it'll do is it'll move away from you at an angle up to 30 meters. 30 meters higher than it was. So next we'll go to 360. So 360 of choice, the left or right. Shows right here. All this will do is it'll spin the camera around 360 degrees. It won't change the height of the drone or anything else. Just speed it up. So next we have reveal, which will, again, 30 or 60 meters, which will drop the camera down. It'll move forward the amount of um, meters you've chosen and gradually rise the camera up to bring the uh, the horizon into focus and then the last one is rise so what rise will do is again at 30 60 meters it'll drop the camera down it'll start to go up to the required height and then it will spin the camera around 360 degrees to get a nice view of all the surroundings. So I hope you liked my video. If you want more uh, please subscribe. Thanks.